Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to check it out how to create this retro animation in After Effects. The first step I'm going to do is drag in the AI file that I created with the logo. I'm going to merge the layer, click OK. I'm going to drag and drop here. I'm also going to activate the transparency grid so I can see the background. I right click on the text, go to the layer styles, and add bevel and emboss. We gotta go here to the bevel and emboss. Here at the size, we can increase it. So this way you're gonna see how thick to be. I gotta go down with some around 13, collapse it, right click, new, add a new shape layer, rename it as gradient. I'm gonna select up the rectangle here. I'm gonna create a rectangle. It's gonna create a rectangle inside of the gradient. Click on the rectangle one. I'm gonna go up to fill here, click on the fill. Select the gradient, click OK, and as you can see here, it's, it's going to appear a gradient fill. Click on the gradient fill one, and we're going to go to endpoint. I'm going to decrease it to zero, and I'm going to increase this, and also, yeah, so there's going to be plus. I'm going to go with the start point somewhere around 700, and the endpoint somewhere around 500. I also can go to edit gradient here, click on it. I gotta pull the black to the center and I click somewhere here. So it, this way it's gonna create a new handle. And I'm gonna pull it to the right, change the color and you can readjust it however you like. I'm gonna put it somewhere here. I might create it also to make it more, like look more sharp like this way. I also gonna add another one here, make it black and yeah, see what's up. Just to test it out, I'm gonna click OK. But you can do this however you like. You can make just a simple gradient as well. Okay, collapse the layer and let's go to blend mode and let's select the difference. And from here, we're going to activate this little checkbox here to make the background transparent. We're going to make a new adjustment layer. Click on adjustment layer. We're going to right click, rename colors. I'm going to type into the effects and presets, colorama, and drag and drop on the colors. We're going to go to the input phase and we got here the phase shift. You can make the color shift in here. Now we're going to animate this. I'm going to click on the stopwatch here and I'm going to drag, drag it all the way to the end. And I'm going to add two. Actually, I'm going to go with four because it's 12 seconds for me. It's going to start shifting the colors and we're going to go to the output cycle where we can change up the colors also. So I'm going to drag and remove some of these. So I'm going to left with four. I'm going to leave the blue and the purple like that. I'm going to double click on this one, make it white, click OK. I'm also going to make a black. Double click, select the black, click OK. And here you can mix up the colors until it's going to get it right. I'm also planning to go back to the gradient, go back to the added gradient. And I'm going to recustomize it a little more, click OK. And it's going to start creating some interesting results. I'm now I'm going to go back to the colors and we made the phase shift on plus one. So I'm going to pull this all the way to the end and actually I'm going to make it like minus four. Before that it was like plus four, but now I'm going to make it like minus four. So it's going to start to open up like this. And here we got the cycle repeat as well. You can modify this too. If you tr turn up the cycle repeat, it's going to add more and more. For this example, I'm going to go with 110. Now we're going to go to effects and presets, search for a rough on edges, drag it in. Let's go to the edge sharpening and type in 05. Fractal influence zero. From here, I'm going to select all of them, right click, click on pre-comp. You're going to rename it as text, click OK. I'm going to right click here, click on new, add a solid. I'm going to add background, click OK. Drag it under the text and I'm going to type in here gradient ramp drag the gradient ramp on the, on the background. Let's change up the colors. I'm going to go for the black in here. Click OK. Let's select the white. Actually, I'm going to make this 100% black. Let's duplicate the text. Press Ctrl D. I'm going to rename this as Glow. Let's go to Effects and Presets. Type in Fractal Noise. 
drop it onto glow. Let's change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And the normal blend mode here, we're gonna change it to add. We're gonna type in here, posterize, drag it in. And as you can see, it's gonna create this uh, stencil effect, decrease it. I gotta go with the minimum, that's two. We're gonna type in cross blur, drag it in. Let's increase the radius. We gotta go with uh, some around 50. And it's gonna be the same thing for the radius Y. Let's change the blend mode to screen. And now we're gonna type in level. Drag the level right above of every special effect here. Now let's increase the input. If you increase the input, you can see it's gonna crush the special effect. I'm gonna go with some around 230. We're gonna make a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna rename this as FX. We're gonna add some grain, type in add grain, drag it in. We're gonna go to the viewing mode and change from preview to final output. We're gonna decrease the size to 0 0.5, whoops, 0 0.5, there you go. We're gonna type in glow. We're gonna go with the glow radiance, pull it up. Glow intensity, bring it down. We're gonna create a new adjustment layer. We're gonna rename this as dust. Change the blend mode to add. And add turbulence. We're gonna drag the turbulence noise. We're gonna increase the contrast, so around 250. Brightness minus 100. And we're gonna animate the evolution. Press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch. Type in here, time multiplied by 2000. Click somewhere here. And this is how you make the special effect. You also can mix up the gradient, mix up the effects and get some new results. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.